Mom, I told you I don't want to meet her. I have a girlfriend already. I'll talk to you later. I have a Cove commercial to do. Sorry about my mom, guys. Welcome back to today's video. I want to give a huge shout out to Cove for sponsoring today's video. If you guys didn't already know, Cove makes this neat portable speaker called the Commuter. The speaker has an outdoor and an indoor mode, and I really love the build quality on this. There's also this cool screen on top where you swipe right or left to change the songs. But my absolute favorite thing about the Cove speaker is the subwoofer on the bottom. The bass and audio quality is amazing. Good quality audio makes the day go by a lot faster. We use this every day when I'm working in the office, working on my car, or even when I'm showering. And I know how much you guys love watching me shower. <laughs> Oh yeah, did I mention? It was water resistant. If you guys are interested in this speaker, head down to the description below, click the link and use the code eliminate for a very nice discount. All right guys, let's get back to today's vlog. Okay, before we get started on working on the S13 today, I have a little message for you guys. If you guys are not doing anything on December 1st, Tune in Tokyo is hosting a Toys for Tots car show. All proceeds for this car show is going to Toys for Tots. The whole Eliminate gang and I are gonna be there. Tune in Tokyo is actually paying me to come out to the show. The whole Eliminate gang and I, we're gonna take that money and we're gonna go spend it all on Toys for Tots. I'm hoping to see you guys there. If you guys wanna come out and hang out with us, it would be amazing, it would make my day. So if you guys wanna return love to the community, come out, hang out with the whole Eliminate gang. It's gonna be a fucking good time. Link to tickets will be down in the description below. Let's fucking spread some love this Christmas. I can't wait to see you guys there. Now let's go work on the S13 and get that thing perfect. Okay, now for the bad news. As soon as I got on the 326 wing, we took the car around the block and something broke. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't drive the S13 around anymore. One of the wheel bearings broke. I believe it's because we're running a 50 mil spacer in front and it put too much stress on the wheel bearing. So now when I'm driving the S13 down the block, the wheel is just clicking. New wheel bearings will be here tomorrow, so we're gonna have that fixed immediately. Um, I, the reason I ran the really fat spacer is to figure out the perfect fitment for my next wheels. But I've already talked to Nifty about the perfect specs for my wheels. Can you guys guess what kind of wheels they are? Let me know down in the comments below. We can still work on the car though. We can't drive it, but we can still work on it. So let's get today's video started. Feels so fucking good to be home. I was actually gone all weekend. Um, that's why I haven't been posting up any vlogs. I actually went to Tune in Tokyo to film an ad for YouTube. Uh, we actually filmed like a little ad for like the first 10 seconds of, you know, the videos that you guys normally see. So I'm kind of excited actually. Oh baby, I fucking missed you. It's so funny how I finished and threw on the 326 wing and my car fucking breaks. So I can't drive this. But I am absolutely in love with this 326 wing. Oh man, this thing looks so good aired out. I haven't driven the GTR in about over a week. So Tony and I are gonna go Home Depot right now to pick up some stuff for the S13. We're gonna be doing some sanding today. We're gonna perfect the 240 before it goes in for paint. Ready to go, Tony? Feels so good to be back in the GTR. Car's all warmed up, we'll see you at Home Depot. Tony, who the fuck let you play this song? It's your phone. <laughs> <laughs> the song's not gay, right? It's pretty gay. Hey, don't ever play that song in my car ever again, alright? Oh, it's not like I like that song or anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, I've missed you. We're here at Home Depot, baby. Damn, Sonny's stepping up that merch game. Guys, if you guys want to cop this windbreaker, head over to Sonny's website. Um, they didn't have what we needed here. We're missing one thing, so we're gonna go to Lowe's and see if we can find it. We'll see you guys back at home though. Tony and I are finally back home. Damn, we were driving around forever, but let's get to work on the 240. Let me show you guys why I picked up sandpaper. <sighs> All right, guys, check out my radio bezel. One, two, three, four holes. And it looks like shit. And also, check out my dash. Look, it's all cracked and nasty. And also, one more thing. Look, the old owner cut the dash right here. I don't know why they did that, but we're gonna be fixing that. <laughs> but we're gonna be fixing that today. Uh, Luke and I actually went to Sacramento yesterday, and we picked up this uncracked dash. Check it out. 
no cracks whatsoever. Damn, must be nice. I know. <laughs> Small stuff like that really bugs me. And I also got the radial bezel piece from the 240SX Facebook page. And I got this for only five bucks, dude. Fuck yeah, they're selling this on eBay for 70 to $80. But I had to get sandpaper because the old owner spray painted this pretty poorly. So Tony's actually going to help me sand this and paint this. Right, Tony? Yeah. And while Tony is doing that, I have something for all you bag owners. If you guys watch Christian's videos or any of our homies' videos, or any of the homies that have bags, you'll know that we all have this. What is this called, Christian? I would call that a tire filler. I would call it that too. I thought there was like a specific name for it. Yeah. We're going to be installing one for the S13 as well because um, you guys know going to drift events, you could lose PSI or you're going to need more PSI. And having a compressor and air tank in the back would definitely help. While Tony is sanding the radio bezel, let me show you guys what I got from Home Depot. We got the air hose. I got 20 feet so it's not too long and not too short. I got all the fittings that's going to make this thing work and also everything we're gonna need for the tire pump. <laughs> oh, dude, this is not gonna reach anything. That's what I said. <laughs> I told you. Bro, what the fuck? I told you. We gotta show what this is. You think this is gonna reach the back of my car? Fuck no. Fuck. That kind of blows. Dude, literally, I can literally just go like this and it's not, I already know it's not gonna reach. Since Tony and I have been driving around all day, we kinda don't wanna return this. We're gonna test to see if this 20 foot long thing can actually reach the front tires. We're actually gonna stretch this right now to see, okay? So, right. you better not let go. Oh my god, dude, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, you think this is gonna fit? That might work. Go further. No, food's gonna fucking break. I think, you go think further. it'll, I, Okay, that, that works. But now it's gonna look hella stupid in the trunk of my car. So? Ready? Yeah pretend, you're, yeah, pretend you're pumping it and this is gonna go back to the tank. I guess, it, I guess it'll work, cause look, the tank's down here. But, we're probably gonna scratch the fuck out of the car. I'm gonna go online and I'm gonna buy a better one. I this is. you to get the 25 feet. Well, I should have gotten the 25 feet. I fuck, it's too late now. I told you to get it. Fuck! Hey, let me, let me use that one, yeah? No, no, no. I need it. Alright, whatever. Fuck okay. <laughs> it. Kind of bummed that that didn't really go according to plan, but you know what? On to the next thing. We're not gonna stop today's vlog. We're gonna remove the crack dash today and be putting in the new one. How's it look so far? Damn, ready for paint, baby. I'm gonna go through right now with some Meguiar Supreme Shine High Gloss Protectant. These dashes are notorious for cracking, so we're gonna go through and try to help prevent it as much as we can. Damn, overkill on the spray. Oh, fuck yeah. Dash is all clean. All right, guys. One last look at the cracked dash and nasty radio bezel. Let's take everything apart. <laughs> look, there's a dollar back there. <laughs> hey, Vince. Thanks for holding the camera. This uh, is for you. Oh, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Go buy something nice, all right? Buy myself, uh, the fuck can you even buy for a dollar? You can buy strippers. All right, I got that side done, this side done, and this side is the tricky part. We have to actually drop the steering rack a little bit just to pull this part out. Steering rack dropped enough, we're able to take out the the cluster piece. I don't know what it's called. Okay, I think I got everything. Um, I guess we just wiggle it. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. It's coming out. Oh, I got it. Oh, okay, I know what it is. Look, these little, these two fuckers are stuck in. These are for the air vents. Oh, Sick. it's out. That was actually easier than the S14 dash. Cool. We got it out, baby. Now that we got it out, let me show you guys the difference between the old dash and the new dash. Look at this. All cracked and nasty. And we got the fresh new one going in. Tony is ready for spray paint. Go ahead, Tony. Okay. There we go, baby. First coat's up? Yep. Cool. We are working our way down the list of imperfections right now. So, my old vent actually had a crack, you guys see right here. I went to the pick and pull a long time ago and I actually got a replacement one. Just for today's video. There we go, baby. That's the new one. Yo, everything on this dash is gonna be perfect. 
The small details really do matter to me. This thing is about to be painted and I want this thing fucking flawless. If you guys can relate, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Before on my S14, I really went half assed with it. This time on the S13, I wanna go all out. All right guys, time to put the new dash inside the S13. This is probably the most annoying install ever, but I finally got it done. Look, I took these out of the old dash and I managed to not crack them. As soon as I clipped these into the new one, they fucking exploded on me. Fuck, I'm so sad. I was gonna have the perfect dash, but that didn't work out. What's up, bro? Ah, little bitch. What? I saw your little, your little CNN listing. Oh, the, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I sent all the homies a list of cities that need to evacuate due to the fire. And when you click the link, it's a, it's a picture of a dude with a massive ass penis. <laughs> and they all clicked it, so. Goodbye. Yes, we're finally done. I put literally everything back together, wiped down the whole dash, and it looks fucking amazing. There we go, baby. <sighs> Look at this. Fuck yes. Now we're just missing the radio bezel. It's actually chilling right there, drying, and we'll be able to install that tomorrow. Today's install actually took way longer than I had anticipated, but this always happens, so whatever. I guess that's it for today's video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Mom, I told you I don't want to meet her. I have a stupid ass bird. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Bloopers. <laughs> the damn bird, you see that shit? Motherfucker, we're acting here. Alright, one more time. I'll talk to you later. I have a Cove commercial to do. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank. Oh, fuck. Do you guys fucking hear that? That little fucking hummingbird right there is making hella noise while we're filming this this commercial for Cove. Not to be mean or anything, but we just I'm not gonna hit him. I just need him to shut up. If you ready, one, two, redo, one, two, three. The design of the speaker is also very different from the the design on the speaker is very different from <laughs> <laughs> there's also this cool screen on top. Wait, hold on. There's also there's also this cool screen on top where you just swipe left or right. <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> to even showering, I love to use this thing in the shower. And I know how much you love it. Wait, no. Wait, what? And I know you guys love it when I'm showering. Just spray right on top of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you fucking damn bird, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for being in my video, messing up the audio. You guys ready to get impressed right now? This little thing packs. Wait, you ready? You guys ready? It <laughs> <laughs> just started. Turn it up, Ben. Long, dude. Mo Bamba, just like that one. Everybody loves that song. <laughs> it's cusses though. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that was. That was too I bad. Did the worst song. That's the wrong song. Bitch.